Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, usually I start my YouTube off with my makeup already done, but I just had a really cool experience. I was getting ready to start filming and I was nervous about the sound because this happened. Hold on, I just have to get this. It is so loud. For a second there, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to film because the rain was super loud, but it was unusually loud. And here in California, we don't get like super crazy weather, so this just sound a little crazy to me. I don't, can you guys hear this? Like I can hear it. Let me see if I can get this. And it is legit hailing in Los Angeles, no lie. Look at this. Oh my god. It's crazy. I yeah. So um it has subsided and it is done now so that's a good thing because I can film and I'm just gonna keep this as my intro <laughs> if you are here for the first time welcome to my channel my name is Jakaira I welcome you so much and if you're one of my subscribers welcome back so today we're gonna get into the look that I'm gonna do and here we go <laughs> Alright, so I don't have anything on my face. Um, I have been experiencing really, really dry, like just everything feels super dry to me. I'm pretty sure it's just the weather. So um, I'm going to moisturize really good. Um, the first thing that I want to do, I normally don't um, do this, show this, but I'm going to go in with my Tarte. This is Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. Next, I'm going to go in with my Ole Henriksen. This is my Sea Rush Brightening Gel. Next, I'm going to go in with some of my Strobe Cream from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm going to put that in all of like the high places and my T-zone. And then for the lips, just to be extra moisturized, I'm going to go in with my Farsali. This is the Rose Gold Elixir. Alrighty, so for today's look, honestly, I don't have anything um, particular in mind. I did just kind of want to play around today, so I'm going to be winging it. Let's get started. I'm going to start doing the eyebrows, and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Next, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape, and also this is my MAC 242, and I'm going to clean up the eyebrows. Next, I'm going to take my P. Louise base. This is in Room R3, and I'm just going to take my dry velvet sponge here, and I'm just going to put that all over the eyes just to create a nice little base. Alrighty, so I am thinking to use my 39A palette by Morphe. Um, this has a range of colors and moods that I'm feeling today. Um, and up here, I was really looking at this color right here, Create, and I was also looking at Snatched. So I think I want to try to do something with these two colors right here in the palette and just see what I can come up with and I don't know, just want to go from there. I'm going to start with Snatch and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. I'm going to start with my Sigma E40 and I'm just going to put Snatch all over my lid and a little bit into the crease. Thank you. 
Alright, so as you can see, I didn't go too far into my crease, but I'm like right there at the beginning. Next, I'm going to take my Morphe M507 brush, and I'm going to go into Create. This one, I am going to go into my crease, and I'm just going to start blending that out. Just kind of want to make it look almost like a sunrise. And I'm going to try to stay still a little close to the bottom, but I'm going to go right at the edge, and I'm just going to work that color in just like that, very slowly. It's a really pretty color. I love how they go together. Okay, now that I've packed on the colors and I have both of them on, I do kind of want to draw it out just a little bit more. I just want to get a little bit dramatic. So now I'm not going to put anything on the brush. I'm just going to shape the shadow a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to dry clean my Sigma E40 that we used before. And I'm just going to go into either one of these colors here. I would say just choose something that's close to your skin color. And I'm going to use either one of these that basically are my skin color and just really blow out the top part of our shadow that we have right now. This what I'm doing right now is just to make all of the edges smooth. I don't want any really rough edges and so I'm just barely taking a little bit and I'm just slowly brushing across that outer line and just making sure that it's blending very well up towards the eyebrow. Alrighty so everything is really blown out and now as I'm doing this look the inspiration is coming and it's feeling very I guess editorial maybe I don't know it's just a little on that side I don't know maybe in my head and so it'll be interesting to see where this ends up um, the next thing that I want to do is I want to darken and give myself just a little bit of depth on the outer corners I'm gonna go in with the next color to give myself a little bit of dimension and this color is called passion and I'm using my Morphe M506 to just get a little in that corner right there. I do like when that corner has just a little bit of, of a darker color because I don't know it just gives the eye just more shape and dimension as I said and I just really love that look. It's funny I always have the urge to just make it big and go all the way up and I'm just I'm, I'm fighting it and I'm like Shakira do not go too high. I'm just like, stay right there. All right, and then I'm gonna go back again with my Sigma E40 just one more time because we did darken. And I just wanna take this and go back into Create just one more time. And I just wanna make sure it's really blended on the outside. And then one more time with the E40, I'm going in with the color that's closest to my skin color and blending that out one more time. All right, so this is all I'm gonna do for the eyes. I do wanna keep it simple. I'm just gonna clean up underneath my eyes. I'm gonna do my foundation and my contour and concealer, and then we'll move on and finish right underneath the eyes because I do wanna add another color there. Next, I'm really, really excited because I have a new product and it was so on time because it was definitely something that I was gonna buy. So if you've been keeping up with Kardashians, you know that Kylie Cosmetics has come out with loose powders and I'm so excited because the powders that I have are good, 
but as far as an all over powder, I was just feeling like they were taking away from my uh, skin tone and, and, and kind of washing it out a little bit. And I was like, you know, I better go get one that's a little on the darker side. So that way I can just really get like my contour going and the powder is complementing that contour instead of taking away from the contour i wanted it to add to it so i did want a darker loose powder she came out with it literally when i was thinking about it and i was just like perfect so today i'm going to be using kylie cosmetics loose powder and this is in the color dark now also i am still going to use my cover fx because this is the idea that i had anyways i do want to use my cover fx on my high points and all of like the t-zone areas and things like that where i conceal but then i want to go in with the kylie cosmetics loose powder in dark and go all over my face on my skin forehead and all of the rest of the areas so let's do that now i'm going to start first with cover fx um this is a brush that i've had for like years don't ask me what it is but basically you want to take something that looks um kind of like a blush brush and I'm just gonna put that all over in my t-zone area forehead and everywhere that I put my concealer and now with my Delium Tools 990 brush I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics loose powder in dark Yes, it's doing exactly yeah, what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. So this color is perfect. If you're my skin color or a couple shades, you know, up or down, this will be good to go on and just set your face and still keep this contour going right here. I mean, that's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to complement the lighter shade that I had in the Cover FX loose powder, and this is just like the perfect shade for me. This powder is really good. I don't know if it's really coming off on camera, but in person, it really does give you like um, that really good airbrush look. It's very, very good. Like, I honestly think it's pretty, it's it's quality, okay? Let's just call it like it is. It, it It's perfect. Now I do want to go back in and put a fun color underneath and I think I'm looking at this color in the palette right here called Dare Me. So I'm going to take Dare Me and I'm just going to put that underneath. I'm going to be using my Morphe M508 brush and I might do an ombre, let's just see. love this color. All right, I absolutely love the way this is looking. I am going to kind of ombre on the inner uh, corners of my eyes underneath. And I think this color here at the bottom, um, that's called Taylor, looks like a really good color that I could put on the inside um, just to highlight just a little bit. And I'm still gonna use that same Morphe M508 brush to do that. That's a very beautiful color too. Ooh. All right, I do not want to do anything else to the eyes. Like, I love the way this looks. <laughs> Moving right along.
Alrighty, lashes are done. We're moving right along. So I am just gonna put some liner inside my waterline and then the lips. For the lips, I'm actually gonna go a little bit old school and I'm going to use chestnut and just go in like with a really, really nude lipstick. So I'm gonna put together chestnut with the Kylie Cosmetics Exposed Lip Kit. This lip combination brings back so many memories. Obviously, Kylie Cosmetics was not around, but to put chestnut with just a super dope nude was just me all day, every day. Still love it today, and I actually like the way this looks. Um, one thing that I do want to do, though, this can kind of disappear a little bit, so I do want to take Cupid by Kylie Cosmetics. This one is Cupid. This one's a gloss, and I just want to put a little bit in the center just to make it pop. So pretty. I like this look because I'm just letting the eyes stand alone and just do their thing. So let's take the hair down. I think I'm super, super satisfied with the way this look came out. I'm loving it. Thank you so much for watching me do this look. This was a really, really fun look today. This one is super, super cool to me and I love the way it came out. Go ahead and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button. You'll be the first to know when I upload another cool look like this. Hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I upload. And again, my name is Shakira and thank you again to everyone. I want you to know that you have the ability to find your frequency and feel good. Survivor